So, um, yeah, so the first uh, topic uh, 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 is Binder and Katie Bus. But, uh, Greg, Greg has made some uh, grand uh, claims um, of ambitious goals. Um, and, and, and so I was hoping he could discuss a little bit of the status of those goals and maybe kind of a, 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 some aspects of uh, the viewpoints and then have Kay follow up with uh, some points as well. Um. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made the mistake of thinking that we could do KD bus, binder over KD bus. Um, K says no. I agree with him. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it'd be nice to get binder out of there and use something else to do that. It's going to take a lot of work. Um, binder's going to stay in staging for probably infinity. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, uh, just the smarmy comment I've got, um, since the Android guys have to deal with this all the time, is wh why are we introducing a new thing and not just fixing Binder? <laughs> like, it's, uh, binder fixes, I mean, Binder's model works great for the model that you want to have it for. I mean, it works great on systems where you can control user space the way you do. It has the model that's been around for forever. I mean, it works for your situation. sort of true for every vendor-specific solution as well, that we kind of, as upstream folks, tend to harass. <laughs> I agree. Um, um, <laughs> why is it still in staging? Well, yeah, no. it's, yeah, it's still in staging because there are known security issues when used on a system that's outside of Android user space. It's, it's that simple. The issue is that there's one main, I think it's called the context manager. Whoever opens it first is that context manager. That doesn't seem like an unfixable problem. If you had a context manager node, anybody could open, create their own context managed interface or subnetwork for which they are the context manager. Uh, maybe it creates another dev node when you open that, and then yeah, that's what, that's what KD Bus binder. is going to do. Well, why not fix Binder? <laughs> Yeah, there's Alvira. Alvira's pointing out the mangling of the FD tables in the process, and Al, you know the stuff that Al's pointed out. It's officially using an API, but it's still it. Okay, then fix it. I mean, yeah, Al's point. Yeah, it's a tough thing. Um, I don't want to touch the binder, do you? Uh, the user side, space side? That's the tough part. Not really. I can't. I'm not allowed to touch that, too. Sure, you are. It's, it's an AOSP. <laughs> um, I want to work on KD bus. My goal would be nice that once we get that nailed down and working, which we're not going to talk about until January, um, that we might be able to use Binder in it, replace Binder in the kernel with it and just modify the user space. That would be a nice goal in the long term. Why do I say that now? Because I'm not, talking, I'm not telling you how KD bus works. Because okay. <laughs> it keeps changing. I mean, we're not, I, I'm not nailing anything no, down. Because earlier on, there was kind of, uh, as, as There's a goal. I, I mean, it was my personal goal. It wasn't these guys' goal who ended up doing the real work. Okay. Understood. I mean, in general, the, the semantics of, of, of Android Binder and, and Dbus are very, very different, right? Like, um, for example, in, in Dbus, you have this concept that you can broadcast messages and then have um, filters on them so that people can, can subscribe to that. It's, it's completely different from the Android model. Um, and, and the Android model kind of like because you use it in Java, it enforces um, uh, worker threads and these kind of things, which is really not how we are used to do these things on the desktop, right? So it's, it's basically the, 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 the heritage that's coming in there that the Dbus model is very different. I think it's more powerful than the, the Dbus model, but it's generally incompatible with, with, with what Binder does. And there, uh, there's more to that. Like, for example, in Dbus, you get guarantees that if you send one message um, and another message, that they are dispatched in order. And on Android, because of the, the, the worker thread thing, that's not the, there's no guarantee for that, right? Like, because it can be dispatched in, in any order. Um, and so there's, there's a lot of different semantics um, involved. So um, maybe some infrastructure could be shared, but the semantics are, in my opinion, way too different. So just to reiterate, Both technologies are going to coexist. So, since both technologies are going to coexist, and it probably would be a good goal to get Binder out of staging and into the main kernel. And you said that there will be a set, you know, we have to fix this FD issue, and then there's context manager, and then 
and then we'll probably have to iterate. But those seem like small, I mean, those are doable things, is what you're saying, Colin. Well, Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to do work. It's working out with a lot of other stuff to do. It's a very low priority. Everybody's great. Doesn't so DRM have a like very similar security KD, hole? We can, and it's no, not in stage. KD doesn't stay in stage. Yeah, we, we can, I can put KD must in stage too, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, but actually, the, the core level of some of this shared memory mapping that KD bus is, is doing might move to the core kernel that can be shared by DRM. So a lot of that shared memory model might work. That takes you to different stuff. But that's what we're going to talk about. So it's going to be easier to talk about this. See, the other question is, is there a reason why Binder should come out of staging? Uh, is there a place for code that needs to be in the kernel so that it can be modified as APIs modify, but does not want to be supported as a global kernel API going forward? Such that if you built a desktop all yes config, you'd expect it to be enabled. Yeah, so I don't really see. Yeah, and I don't see a whole lot of reason to move it out of staging just so that it's in a different directory. Yeah, and some of the other parts of Android I'd like to see move out. And, and, and getting a maintainer for it outside of staging, I think, might be the yeah. hard part. But yeah. uh, now I, I don't. Okay, you had a list of kind of concerns. I don't know if they've all been expressed at this point, but I wanted to give you Yeah, it's just basically what Leonard said, that we have a different model. What Dbus is doing is more like a network connected services and not like a threat pool model you have. Like Android is more like a user space implemented. It's just called you have a synchronous going into something. It goes to the, different pro to the other process and comes back in a synchronous IOCTO. And Dbus is just, we send a packet off, we don't know anything, it comes back, we pull, it comes back, and we could stuff this stuff together, but we don't need it. I mean, we wouldn't need uh, read, write, combined dioctals, and we wouldn't need threat pool management and anything like that. So we could combine, but it would probably just be like uh, the overlap with a thousand lines of code or something. But we, should, we could think about sharing uh, the uh, shared memory stuff, what Ashmem is doing, which, which kind of, and it's kind of connected to Binder, but it's not in Binder, but we have this all in one thing. So KDBus needs to support it. So it's a first level object, it's a shared memory file descriptor. And we have code for that. That could be something that you guys could use instead of Ashmem. And then there is the slice allocator. So if a process copies the data directly to the receiving process, there's an allocator managing the memory. This is the same thing, but this is maybe like 300 lines or something. So this is stuff that could be shared or could be even made generic and we both use the generic version of it, even if you're behind it behind our private interfaces. I don't know, but this is something that somebody, somebody who's like in, knows the internals of Binder, I only read through it and... Uh, <laughs> but that person is not here. No. Okay. So yeah, so... One day we'll get Arve and, uh, and Greg in a room together and it'll be hilarious. So what, what, uh, <laughs> but Binder is really, really very optimized for calling in synchronously in from one process to the other. And what we do is just, it's made more control data we pass around. And we could use the KD, and the current DBus is really just about control data. And the current uh, the KD bus is, 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 will be able to transport data over it. But we have like all the, like the usual Linux desktop has, Custom protocols for everything. The graphics has no idea about KDBus or whatever. And Android is all one. It's all over binders. So it's very optimized for a local communication thing based on threads. And we don't have anything like that. But as I said, we could share like the primitives below it. And even the uh, what we call memfd, it is a memory file descriptor we can fill. And as soon as we share it, nobody can write to it anymore. So it, you can be safe by reading it. You can be, you can be sure that the the guy who sent it to you didn't change it while you're reading it. And so things like that is, uh, it could be useful for, for Android too by replacing the Ashmem stuff and maybe giving it closer, putting it closer to, to Binder itself. Because we have, uh, we have, we can validate if you get, if you compose a message for Dbus, you can attach these file descriptors and it will not transport anything that is not like sealed. So you cannot pass stuff payload around which the sender can change while you read by the receiver is reading it. Okay, 
It cannot protect anything, Ashman. But this is, I mean, we, we could, we, even all, also your uh, volatile memory range stuff, we could just put that on top of the, something that is generic. We could even make it a primary syscall interface. Like, just things like sealable shared memory file descriptor sounds useful for everybody, not only for binder or KD bus. So if that becomes like a first level kernel facility, we could just use it and you could replace Ashman with it, put it closer to binder and we could just rip it out of KD bus. So this is possible, but I don't know how, like, how much work you want to put into it. Ambitious plans, where it was the, the fact that, um, to some extent, I, I have concerns about Binder, where for things like the compat octal support and that sort of stuff, which isn't in place yet, and as it's being kind of made to go in place, has uh, concerning limitations, I guess. Um, so, um, uh, the, we got the cleanups for the compat octal. It, it's been taking a big, long process. So, Serban still has a. a, a two patches or something like that to get it so that it does work in, uh, well, if there's, yes. Um, now the problem is, is that if you're trying to, that, that only works for a purely 32-bit environment on a 64-bit kernel. Uh, in a mixed environment, I have no idea how it's going to work, so. Um, Something's need, going to need to use, in user space, 64-bit pointers for everything that flows through binder, even if it's coming from a 32-bit process. Yeah, and so. Um, that's, that's, that's the thing where I get kind of like very nervous about, you know, the way that binder is used and so having something that would be. Yeah, I can't change that interface. Oh, well. You could change the interface today. That's. You don't have to keep that the same user space. Right, but that's. <laughs> well, and by. <laughs> they, they. <laughs> yeah. If we were to move it to anything else, you would have to change the interface. You can fix those outputs today. Although. Yeah, but so the thing is that there's also the aspect of, you know, there are existing use cases. Well, then you're yeah. never right, going right. to be able to. So, right, right, right. So there's. Right. But. We're never, if you have that constraint today, we'll never be able to change it anyway. It's staging. So, I mean, but I did. Like, right, 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 right. You're telling them that they can't change it. If they wanted to preserve, and this is, I'm, I'm, I'm not the person making the decision. My expectation is that when that needs to be supported, LibBinder will query the kernel, figure out if it needs to be using 32 or 64-bit pointers. On old things, it'll work fine. On new things, it'll use a new format. I mean, so, okay. So I think that might be everything so far on that one. We'll talk about it in a year. Ta yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and try to get some more familiarity with what could be shared, so. Quantity is not a metric of understandability. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably not a single comment in that code. Yeah. You would like this to see happen because then somebody else would understand it. Right. We wouldn't have the case. If, if Arve gets hit by a bus, then we really are. Yeah. I'm not sure. So. Um, but yeah. Um, so I think that's it for Binder. Anybody else have any comments or notes on it? We should really start with the sealed memory file descriptor stuff, which is kind of related to Binder, but is stuff we implemented on our own. And 
you could replace like the Ashmem stuff, and if we find out that works, we can look at the other stuff. So I, I think that's just, that is feasible at least. Already plotting ways to get rid of it, and so there's basically well, there's there's three parts of right. Ashmem, and we only really have a plan to get rid of one, which is volatile ranges. I thought, but I mean the VMA names, and then VMA naming is kind of stalled, and then well, not the, the third ranges. one that nobody's even looked at yet is the interface atomically creating an FD that is backed by shareable memory. So, but but until that, the volatile ranges is done. That's the hard one. So <laughs> everything else, you can't delete Ashmem until that's done. So it's yeah. not really much point in starting um, on everything else. Until but then. I think even at that point, I think having the atomic interface is a re like that's a reasonable thing to add. I don't yeah, think that's um, right. And I guess that's I mean that's just an API that's, argument. So yeah, but I guess that's the thing is I'm not sure I quite grasp. Um, I mean, it could just be a, a thing that we you want added on to that interface to be able to say, I want to get a sealed message. But at that point, we're just, you're requesting from the kernel side. Yeah, kind of what, what we have is a version of Ashmem in a sense, but we need different ways of secu putting security on top of it. So, but it's a shared memory file descriptor as Ashmem is. So, so how do you get it, those it right now? It's the same kernel primitives. So. The thing I want to make. How do you how do you get those FDs right now? What's your API for that? It's an IO based on the so we get calling to the KD bus device and we get the memory file script out of it, which is wrapped into an anonymous file script so you cannot access something we don't allow you to do. So if if that was just a, a separate device node. Yeah, it could be a syscall. That would be if, if you make it very a first, helpful for first us. level kernel interface which we, which provides both of us with with what we need, we could just Give it to everybody else. So, uh, like the the Valen guys, it's like, oh, that sounds awesome. We want that too. So, so it's possible at least to like work in the direction that that gets rid of one subsystem, and you could like use it in in Binder too, or in the context of Binder, we would just rip out our stuff. To us, it doesn't directly relate to Binder. Binder is it's opaque not, to what yeah, FD but, is being um, passed I mean, across. You, you, you we memory, use it heavily with Binder. But your shared it, memory involves Ashmem a lot, so, yeah, so, so it's I kind mean, of related. It's, it's to, good for getting rid of Ashmem. It, it's not directly. You just have two names binder. for the same thing. We have one name, so yeah. it's, but it's in the end. Well, we, it's the same. we use it heavily outside of Binder as well, not so much for the well, sharing. Well, you transport but, the stuff over Binder, which is the same thing we do. We use Ashmem pretty heavily for non-shared memory for its other features. So that's why it's a separate thing this is from Binder. Uh, I think that's <laughs>